back then when Granovetter observed, it was in the 60s, um, we did not have any means to get the friendship network of people. He observed the following, he said um, people who get a new job uh, get it, get the information through weak ties and that is it. And he uh, made up the story of uh, a possible network like thing with weak tie like thing and, and, and things like that, right. But he had no clue whether this was, this can actually be validated in real life. <coughs> but then in, in some 10 years back in 2007, we had data of cell phone usage between people. Let us see, how can this be used to validate the Granovetter strength of weak ties? All I need to show is these so called local bridges actually are weak ties. Remember what we have been discussing all this while. Strength of weak ties means there are weak ties which are useful, which are helpful. What I am going to tell you right now is the fact that the local bridges turn out to be weak ties. That Granovetter could not show back then. How, how does he, for example, if he made an attempt to uh, show, uh, how would he do that? Uh, probably any scientist would uh, look at the entire big network of friends and then go ask, what is the strength of your friendship with this person? What is the strength of your friendship with this person, this person, this person? How would I do that? I mean, that is not a very nice way to do it. Maybe your survey results might have noise. Maybe uh, people may not give the right answer for your questions when you are surveying. In 2007, we had this data set of who speaks to who on cell phone. There is a huge network and energy is put between two people if they have conversed on cell phone. And we would record the total number of minutes that they have spent on cell phone from the past, let us say, uh, 2 to 3 weeks. So, to be precise, 18 weeks, um, not 2 to 3 weeks, 18 weeks is what they observed. 18 weeks is roughly what, uh, 4 and a half months? Yeah. They observed people for 4 and a half months and then they saw who speaks to whom, how many minutes. If I call you over cell phone, then there is an edge between me and you. We both are friends. And they saw this big network. The, the network was connected. In fact, around 85 percent of the nodes were belong to one big component, the rest were another component. Uh, you remember a discussion from first chapter that there is, it is generally a connected uh, network. A network is always connected or at least there is a big component of um, uh, connected, uh, there is a big connected component in the network, the rest is a small component even if it is disconnected. So, that apart. So, my, my, my point is when you look at this cell phone network, it is a connected graph. So, what? We will look at the local bridges here. So, what is a local bridge? We just now saw that um, um, a proxy for local bridge, a better um, uh, ex uh, definition would be neighborhood overlap. So, we look at the neighborhood overlap of an edge. If it is higher, then it is a local bridge. If it is lower, then it is not a local bridge. So, we saw the definition of neighborhood overlap. If the neighborhood overlap is very small, then it comes close to being a local bridge. So, it was observed on this cell phone data that for those edges with very less neighborhood overlap, which means it is close to being a local bridge, it was observed that the cell phone talking that happened across this friendship was also very less, which means higher the cell phone conversation between two uh, friends, higher it is, local bridge property is smaller, lesser the duration of the phone call, more closer it is towards the local bridge. So, what does this tell us? It just tells us that see, local bridge is a very binary definition. Is it a local bridge or not? Correct? The neighborhood overlap uh, definition 
tells you as I told you in the previous uh, video tells you uh, a, a nice um, um, grayscale values it gives you between 0 and 1. 0 means a local bridge, 1 means not a local bridge, there could be values between and that is what neighborhood overlap captures. And what happens in this data of cell phone usage? You observe that if two people are talking a whole lot, then they are not weak tie, they are strong tie. If they are talking very less, then there are they are um, weak tie. And you observe that in the graph, the graph structure when you observe, the edges that correspond to smaller neighborhood overlap, which means edges that are close to being local bridges, we observe that the cell phone usage between these two people is of lesser duration, which means it is actually a weak tie. Think about it, a very eye opening research indeed, which is possibly uh, doable only in this era, because not only do we have data, we even have uh, sophisticated programming possibilities that we can check such a big data.